some days life just gets busy <clears throat> and there's nothing we can do about it. We have work, we got, you know, maybe family, relationships to, to keep hold of. <clears throat> and within all that, we have to find time to, to train and to, to keep ourselves healthy, healthy and to do what we need to do. This leads me to the third key of becoming a champion, that's self-discipline. And what it says for that is follow all training rules. So no matter what you're training for, if you're not self-disciplined, there's no way you will be <clears throat> become a champion. And what this means is if you know you have a busy day, but you know you need to work out, then you know you need to get your butt up out of bed and go to the gym and work out. If you know that you know your morning's busy and you got to find time later in the day, then you got to find time later in the day to get it done. You know, squeeze it in, whatever it is. And you know, I I talk mainly about sports and and fitness, but this this works for you know your job and and your relationships. And a lot of people think that you know scheduling scheduling time for for different things, whether it be um, self development in in your work or or personally or relationships scheduling time for relationships some people think that you know that's a negative thing but really if you're scheduling that and you're saying you know what I'm gonna put time away for for you then you know that's that says a lot about you and and about what that relationship means to you so as you move forward self-discipline is gonna be huge in becoming a champion whether it's in sports or life so Make sure you're following all the training rules that you have, whether you set them yourself or a coach or, or team, team member set for you, but follow them, be self-disciplined, and do what you need to do, and you will become a champion.